These huge granite boulders are a distinctive element in Yellowstone's landscape. They're called glacial erratics. Glacial because they were carried around by glaciers, and erratics not because they're unreliable or eccentric, but because the word erratic comes from Latin meaning wandering. So they are wandering boulders carried by glaciers and deposited here when the glaciers retreated. So they're scattered up and down and across the ridges and valleys in Yellowstone. So in the game, to place and render these, I use the same rendering tool as we use for smaller ground clutter and for the trees and grass. Unfortunately, that meant that they only appear if you've got the enhanced sky and vegetation mode enabled. That was certainly a compromise, but with 10 to 20,000 boulders, here you can see them all, each one of those little dots. It just wasn't possible to have them placed in the scene in the traditional way. But as we work on multiplayer, we realize that it's a real problem if these boulders appear for some players, but not for others. That would create a variety of technical and gameplay issues. So Tommy dug into it and created a little subsystem that first grabs the placement size and rotation data for all the boulders that I had set up with this other tool. And then it puts the boulder models in a pool and instantiates them during runtime around the player. It's actually very similar to the way that most of the animals are spawned around the player. So now, whether you're running on basic or enhanced graphics, you get a boulder and you get a boulder and you get a boulder. Everybody gets a boulder. And not only that, but the boulders are visible much farther away. They don't pop into view just at uh, 50 or 150 meters away. So that looks much better. You can really see the boulders strewn across the landscape. This method also lets us put a proper collider on these boulders instead of the simple sphere that we had to use before, which had its own problems. Sometimes it stuck out farther than the boulder's surface. Sometimes it didn't stick out far enough and so you could stick your head through the boulder. So this is much better in that regard. And best of all, that means you can walk up onto the boulders, at least some boulders. You gotta find one with a good um, slope going up it. So you might, have to, you might have to look at a few boulders before you find one, but many boulders are now walkable. You can go up there and take a nap on top of a boulder if you like. So we've been testing and refining this system this week. Here's a couple nice shots from our beta testers who have been helping with that. And uh, we should have this ready for public beta very soon, and then out as an official release within a few days after that. Mm -hmm.